So if you have an alternator that keeps burning out in your car or truck, I thought I'd go over some of the causes for this and how you might be able to go about fixing it. And I'm gonna put links down below for everything I'm looking at here. But how often does an alternator fail? Most alternators, they'll last around 90 to 120,000 miles, roughly. Some will last a lot longer, so it can vary. But if you have an alternator and it's failed and then you replace it and it failed again with, within like 10, 20,000 miles or something like that, then there very likely is another problem going on and, and it'll have to be looked at to see why. And so some of the main causes for this is number one is going to be the battery. And if the battery is going dead or one of the cells inside of there has gone bad, then it might not be working properly and it might be putting more of a load on the alternator and it's shortening its life since the alternator is having to work so hard and it keeps trying to fully charge the battery, but the battery is not going to take a full charge because one of the cells has gone bad or something else has failed inside of it. So number one, it's going to be a bad battery and you could do a load test on it or something along these lines to go check it if you wanted to, to be sure. But the first thing is going to be a bad battery. And the next thing is going to be a failing voltage regulator. Now, if this is part of the alternator, then it might be something else but many alternators they have a separate voltage regulator so if your voltage regulator is separate from the alternator itself and your alternator keeps failing then you might want to test the voltage regulator to be sure that it hasn't gone bad and usually you could test the voltage regulator by checking the output of the alternator at the battery terminals and if it's running really high or just varying a lot, like it's going like 12 volts to 16 volts and just jumping around, then very likely that voltage regulator has failed and you might want to either test it or replace it. So number two is going to be a failing voltage regulator. And number three is going to be wiring issues. And this is mainly like bad connections, open, shorts, anything like this. Any of the main wires going from the alternator to the battery, if any of these are not connected good or if they're having any kind of problems, then it could shorten the life of the alternator. So if you want to, you could go through you could check the back of the alternator where the wires bolt on and, and they connect all the way around up to the fuse box or however the wires come from the alternator are run and just examine them be sure they have a good contact going on be sure that there's no corrosion going on or anything like this but number three is going to be a wiring issue and number four is going to be an overload from like added electronics so if you added in a bunch of things into your vehicle like you added in extra radios or any other kind of electronics the alternator might not be built to handle this load capacity capacity and it might be having to really overwork to supply the voltage for all these things running and that could shorten the life of an alternator. If you are running a lot of electronics inside of your vehicle, quite often you can get a bigger amp alternator that'll make up for the capacity, for the load capacity that you need. So you might want to look into that. And so number four is going to be that the alternator is overloaded from too many electronics that have been added inside the vehicle. And next up is going to be an intermittent short. And these type of problems could be problematic because they can be hard to troubleshoot or track down since they're not always shorted. When there's a short that's happening constantly and it doesn't go away, that can't be hard to find, but it's much easier to find than an intermittent short that just happens occasionally. And this can happen where like a loose wire, it's not always touching the metal, but then you hit a bump or something and all of a sudden it touches metal and it shorts out and it could cause a component to fail like the alternator. And while this isn't so common, if you are checking everything else and you just can't figure out this problem, then you might want to go really go through and check all your wiring. None of the wires are being pinched anywhere or the wires aren't exposed anywhere that might be accidentally touching metal when you hit a bump or anything along these lines because the intermittent short might happen and it might short out the alternator just for a short period and causing it to fail. So number five is going to be intermittent short. And next up is fluid that's blowing onto the alternator. Now most alternators can take some amount of fluid being blown onto them, but it is an electronic device and it is producing electricity. So sometimes when fluid gets blown onto it, components can get damaged or short out inside of it, or the bearings can go bad or anything like this. Some of the brushes inside there could get corroded. And quite often this can happen like if the engine overheats and a bunch of coolant blows out or oil blows onto it for some reason. And so that is something to keep in mind is that if any fluid has been getting blown into it from like an engine that's overheating every now and again and then right after that the alternator fails so number six is going to be fluid from the engine blowing on the alternator and next up it's just going to be a low quality alternator that it just wasn't built properly and so if you are getting replacement alternators from an unreliable source, like a really low cost alternator on eBay or something like that, then you might wanna just go ahead and break down and get a name brand alternator for your particular vehicle, since it is possible that the quality is just not good and they're just failing. And so that's basically it. I just wanna give a real quick brief overview of some of the causes of why an alternator might keep blowing out on your vehicle. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.